Well, a mother with two young kids living in fear because of what she believes are unsafe conditions inside her apartment. She filed a complaint with City Hall. And now she's turning to our Ronnie Dahl, who's joining us live from Detroit's east side tonight with more. Ronnie. Well, for that young mother, this is actually where she comes to pay her rent every month. This mansion, it's where the property owner lives. And for her, that can be a little bit upsetting because she lives a few blocks away in her apartment. Well, there are a long list of safety conditions that she's worried about. On the surface, the two-bedroom apartment in Detroit's West Village neighborhood seemed like a great place for this young mother of two. When I walked through, everything seemed good. But the facade quickly faded and reality set in. It's mold in my dining room ceiling. It's no working lights here and um, no working smoke detectors. Sewage backing up in the basement. And then there are those unwanted four-legged friends who come to visit. A squirrel has gotten in my home, not just in the walls. They're running in the walls all the time, but has gotten in playing with my children's toys. Brianna has tried plugging the holes in the walls and under the sink to keep the critters out. Fed up, she turned to City Hall. They have came out here and did inspection. She and she says she gets fine. She is Cheryl Huff and a search of online records show her violations go back years. Recently she was sued by the city of Detroit for a burned out eyesore that used to sit on this lot. And I've watched it from when it was basically a slum lord's home run down and when it did eventually burn it was a blessing for me. The city ordered the house torn down and sent Huff the bill yet her tenant troubles haven't come to an end. She's absolutely a slumlord. Like, everyone's so afraid of her. And I stopped by Huff's Fancy Digs on Parker Street to get her side of the story. My houses are very few violations that actually exist. You just can't afford to pay these numerous fees that they keep wanting to give you. So you think the inspectors are picking on you? Not make you picking on me. They're picking on... It's, this is how they raise money for the city. And so Huff says that a lot of these problems are caused by the tenants themselves. She's agreed to sit down with us Monday for a more in-depth interview, and we hope that uh, she will hold true to that. As for the violations at the other home, well, a spokesperson for Mayor Douglas' office tells me she will be ticketed yet again for those safety code violations. For now, we're live on the city's east side. Back to you. Well, mold is really dangerous, so hopefully and they'll get on it. That takes a while to form. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Ronnie. Well, still to